Welcome to another dinosaurs add-on. This one is created by Pixel Beaster. Priced at 990 Minecraft coins, that's £4.99, this add-on is $6. So far, the community gave this a 4.5 star out of 5, with 24 ratings so far, 75% have been a five star according to the creators this introduces 75 brand new variations it also introduces brand new weapons and armor and is fully customizable for your survival world the file size of this add-on is 20 megabytes for those of you interested in today's add-on i can confirm they will spawn naturally in your world they are biodependent so you will have to do some exploring to find the dinosaur that you want once you have the add-on installed in a new or pre-existing world you'll be given the dino guidebook now if you open this we have how stuff works the dinosaur list, but also about this add-on. If you do purchase and have any problems, reach out to the company via their social media. So let me teach you about the basics. I want to start with how stuff works. On this page, we have dinosaurs, hunting, crafting, and taming. Now on the dinosaur page at the top, it just explains that every single dinosaur and prehistoric creature is different now down here it will explain that we do have the dinosaur list inside of here it's going to tell you the biomes that you can find them what they will drop and how you can tame them it also explains that they can be found in different locations so let's start with the hunting because this is actually quite fascinating in fact before we do this let's go and hunt our first dinosaur i also want to turn on the health bars add-on to see how much health they might have these dinosaurs are currently fighting now, this one is currently dazed. There is a dazed factor introduced, which will make it a little bit easier to kill. They will drop. Sometimes you can get the raptor fangs if you find a velociraptor. You can also get dino meat, which can be eaten even though you're already full, but this can also be cooked. Inside of the dino book, it does explain that dinosaurs can be strong. This one's actually stunned already, and there is a way to tame it. Now, before I show you guys how that works dinosaurs can also drop dino scales which can be used to craft yourself armors tools etc this is an anki i want to hit this there you go so be very careful because they are very very strong you can see here you just gotta watch out yeah like you will get absolutely destroyed when it comes to taming it says to tame herbivores you need to find aracoria sprouts which will appear when destroying tall grass and ferns. Now, I'm just going to give myself regen here and show you guys how strong they are. But if you go ahead and break these, you can end up with these sprouts. You can still get the previous existing wheat seeds, but these are now going to be your friend in taming the herbivores. If you did want to tame this, we have to start by stunning it. Now, this can take a couple of tries. He's currently stunned. Now, if I was to leave him in this state, eventually he will manage to recover now i'm curious do they protect each other they do protect each other they do protect each other that's so cool okay so i'm gonna leave him to kind of recover i'm gonna use the sprouts in order to tame this now, as you can see, he's currently tamed. If we crouch, he is actually going to sit, which is really, really cool. Some, if not most, dinosaurs can actually be ridden. Let's see if he does recover from this. Like I said, it does take a little bit of time. There you go. He's managed to recover. I could go ahead and injure him. Oh, he's, st he's still walking. I want to kind of tame him a little bit. There you go. So you can actually heal them that way. We've got two of these. I believe we are able to breed these. Um, the process is a little bit funky, but in doing so, they will produce an egg. This will hatch over time. Every single dinosaur can be bred in this add-on. Let's go ahead. Wait, let's run away. Will they, will they follow you? I love it. It's like a giant puppy. It's so amazing. All right, you're gonna stay there for now. I have just noticed though that this is called dino meat and this is called cooked dino meat instead of the raw version. Again, can be consumed even though you're full. When it comes to the scales, these are relatively easy to obtain. One thing I haven't figured out is how to... Do they, do they attack? Oh, they stomp you. How much damage do you do? Go on, do it again. Do it again. Okay, so it does like four hearts worth of damage. Aha. So on this occasion, we managed to get bones. You are going to need the combination of bones and scales to make some armor types. 
But the first set of armor is going to require iron ingots, but also sticks as well. There is a weapon set you can make. Now, if we just go ahead and move these, I'm going to go with the fossil boots, the chest plates, the leggings, the helmet as well. I want to go ahead and put this on me. See what it looks like. Okay, okay. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. I wish you could dye this kind of stuff. That would be really, really cool. There is a weapon you can make. This is going to be a fossil bone scythe. I wonder what the attack animation of this is. It's, it's clunky. Let's go and get you. You want to fight me? Yeah, I don't think so. It's not as strong as my weapon, but it's still gonna do a little bit of damage the raptor being the uh fang i think this is this is meant to be a rarity to be fair on an armor stand this looks amazing the next one you're able to get requires dino scales diamonds and a stick so let's go ahead and make the next set let's go ahead and craft all of this i'm gonna put this one on an armor stand as well and this one will offer you i'm not even gonna say some of these because i don't want to butcher them and you guys to laugh at me in the comments section i know some dinosaurs not them all but this is like a mace style oh oh that one comes with the ram ability so does this have any attack oh oh okay to kind of compensate for the clunkiness this has this and this has this ability. Okay, I kind of like that. At least it makes up for the brokenness. And the last one you're able to make is quite expensive. Now, we have a couple of things we're able to make here. But this is going to require raptor fangs, obsidian, netherite, and sticks. There's also a trap you're able to make, which is this. I'm going to make two of these because I actually don't know how these traps work. Let's go ahead and test it with you. How does... Oh, okay, that was kind of... That one's... Okay, they just get simply trapped. And they're going to die very, very, very slowly. Okay, so he broke. Nope, he's he's still. Yep. Still still bugged out. Hold on, I wanted to get trapped in this one. There we go. That's perfect for stunning them. Either killing them and then taming them. I kind of like this. Here is the recipes for the ancient obsidian armor. Along with the weapon, which I'm hoping is going to have a cool attack as well. Let's put... Oh, we put this on. In fact, we will put it on. Let's have a little look. Okay, so this one's pretty cool. I like that. Let's try the attack of this. Try this. Okay, so that does... I mean, it does a little bit of damage. The cooldown on this is a, is, is in... Hold on. What's it like in third person then? Pretty cool in this position. Okay, that's really cool. I like the animation with this one. One more time and you are done for. One more thing players are also able to craft when it comes to food is going to be the bug stew. This is made with bug meat, which can be obtained by a few creatures a little bit later on. The sprouts, which I already showed you. So let's craft this. I'm guessing it's just going to give you a little bit more in terms of healing you. Now we get into the fun stuff because you're able to ride a bunch of these. I haven't tried it with the Anki, but let's give it a shot. In order to make yourself a saddle, you are going to need two iron ingots, two leather, and three dino scales, which are relatively easy to obtain. Head over to your dinosaur. Let's try with the Anki here. He can be ridden. He can. He can be ridden. That's so cool. They will attack me. Does he attack back? There we go. There we go. Get him, Anki. And I'm not sure what's going to win here. But this thing is not to be messed around with. He will absolutely destroy you. Come on, one more time. He's really low. There we go. We managed to get him. Yo, that little guy does not stand a chance, by the way. He does not stand a chance. Obviously, you need to make sure you're going to have to heal your dinos. But he looks otherwise occupied for now. I'm going to let him play with those. Just so you guys are aware, if you would like to tame this, go ahead and put it into its stun stage. We need to get make it dizzy. There you go. It's right there. So go ahead and feed it, feed it dino meat. This will mean that it's now tamed to you. Put a saddle on it. And as you can see here, you're able to ride it. And to be honest, I do kind of really like this add-on. We do have the realistic dinosaur add-ons out there. But I kind of really like the textures of this. They're somewhat staying true to your regular Minecraft experience. Shout out to the creators also supporting the creative aspect of this. The spawn eggs have been designed to represent each and every single dinosaur. 
dinosaur. And not a lot of the dinosaur add-ons out there do this. And I thought this was a really nice touch. So there's so many different dinosaurs on offer. If we open up the guidebook, tap on dino list. Let's start with this one here. It explains it's a herbivore. It has dino meat and dino scales as a drop. It can spawn in forest, plains, swamps, deserts, savannas, and taiga. It also explains how strong it is. It can be ridden, can't fly, can't jump, can attack. Oh, I'm not going to read all the attributes to every single one of them. He looks really cool. So can we like, like just not breed them normally? So you have to stun every single one. Is that what it's saying? Yeah, so you have to stun every single one. But can it jump? I don't know how the jumping works on this. I haven't actually figured that out yet. I tried to hit spacebar, but that just jumps me off. Uh, but this one's a little bit faster. I did already show you the Anki, so we're going to leave that. This one right here is going to be a big fella. Check him out. He is huge. Huge. We need to daze him, though. And you ride him. That's the question. Yeah, he's dazed. I like how his neck is, like, flopping around. Tame him. Put a saddle on him. I think on some of them, you have to, like, jump. There we go. So I want to go and summon another T-Rex here. Come on. Yes, there we go. Stomp on him, bro. The T-Rex does a lot of damage to this one. So these are the little ones that we did see from before. And they kind of follow you anyway. Do you want the meat? Do you or do you want this? And these don't look like they can be tamed. They just follow you in general. Oh, okay. Hey! Hey, stop that. All right, hold on. Can you ride this, though? That's the question. Tame him. Can you be ridden? You can do the... It looks really cool on this one. Some of them apparently do have a jumping meter. I don't think this is going to be one of them. This is quite fitting for me. How cool is this, though? I like the idle animations. That's something I've been really impressed with this. They're not just going to sit there and look kind of stupid. I'm guessing he's going to be a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, but not so strong on the attack. Definitely not strong on the attack. Also doesn't seem to have a lot of health. Can be tamed using the dino meats. Bro, he took a very long time, too. Some of these dinos are greedy. Can you be ridden? Yes. Yes, you can. Jump. Aha. So he can jump. There you go. So more of a smaller one. I don't want him to die, though, because I would like to uh, tame this one. There you go. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Whew. Okay. Come to me. Come to me. Come to me. These ones like the headbutt, right? Can you... Oh, dude, I'm so happy. Can you jump? Yes. So these are really fast dinos. Let me just read the information about you then. Dino, let's go a little bit further down. Can ride, can jump, can attack. But in terms of strength, it's not very, very strong. How about the ability to fly? Because this one does have that. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, apparently not. Do you like meat or do you like this? Okay, so now we can have you tamed... Put a saddle on you, and we have one that can actually fly. And they kind of walk and then fly away. We now have a dinosaur that you're able to fly. I don't think any of the other add-ons I've checked out had this ability. But being able to get airborne is something I do really, really appreciate. Also, for those wondering if they are going to ruin regular spawn rates, they haven't so far in this world. But look how cool he is. Come on, do you walk to me? He does. Oh, no, he kind of teleported there. All right, let's try the Spino. We know that these guys are monsters. Now, will he attack for me, though? Do you attack for me? No, he doesn't. But can the Spino be ridden? Should be stunned. Can you be ridden, too? No! I'm sad, but it kind of makes sense. But let's go down here and try and read, like, the Spino details. It says on the Spino, it cannot be ridden. Cannot fly, cannot jump, will attack, and relatively strong. Who wins out of the Spino and the T-Rex, though? This is the fight for the ages. I think the T-Rex has a little bit more health. I think it does, yes. Yeah, like, it doesn't stand any chance, to be fair. I'm gonna revenge my Spino. As a young child, I can confirm the Stegosaurus was definitely my favorite. Does it have two attacks? I'm kind of surprised it doesn't use its tail. You're now my friend. Can you be ridden? You can be ridden. Let's go. Yeah, I'm kind of a little bit sad that it doesn't use its tail because I think in combat, it usually would. So I'm not going to tame every single dinosaur, but I would like to show you some of the designs. Triceratops as well, definitely a fan favorite. And for those interested, I can confirm... You are able to put a saddle on this absolute beauty of a creature once you've tamed him. Sit down and you're able to, of course, ride this. What about this then? Okay, you've seen the T-Rex before. I haven't seen this one. Another one which I think can be ridden. Do you attack? You do. Hold on. 
Let's stun this. There you go. You're now my friend too. As these guys are fighting it out. You can be ridden. And I think this one can jump too, right? Yes, it can. But the jumping isn't that great. This is the last dinosaur. It's a Velociraptor, as you guys did see before. If you manage to kill this, it can drop the Raptor Claws, which can be used in certain recipes. We have the Ammonites. You'll see these in your oceans. You'll also see these roaming around as well. They don't necessarily do anything special, but they do drop the bug meat. That's where you're going to obtain these. The same for this. Basically like a giant dragonfly, really fast and nimble. More like a scorpion kind of thing Do you attack. And then this as well. Oh, this does inflict a poison. Hold on, can, can I tame you? I Wait, oh, it eats that. That's actually really cool. Do you stay still? That's actually really cool. I like its little heart there, too. That's so cool. What about you? Can you, like, be tamed or, or ridden? I don't think there's a case of, like, being able to tame these ones. Wait. Yeah, you can. You actually can. How bizarre. But also, at the same time, really, really cool. I always enjoy checking out these dinosaur add-ons. I like to see how the creators do their textures. I also like to see what abilities they have on offer. I think they did a really, really good job. And I would recommend this add-on if you were interested in getting it.